So we're back. James Johnston is here talking about his new song, Anything Like Me. We're about to play a first-time game. This is called Are You Concerned? Um, I was inspired by listening to the song. I was kind of listening to it thinking, I wonder if he thought of this before he put it out. And you've been very honest with us today. You know, you're talking about everything around the song. And I thought, you must have a couple of things. And you've touched on them, actually. So let's see what you think. This can be yes and no. This can be... uh, you can elaborate whatever you want. We'll just sort of play this here. So this is, these are, I guess it's a top five and it's called, are you concerned okay. uh, as a result of anything like number, uh, like me? That was probably <laughs> the best intro I've ever done. All right, here we go. All right. So number one, are you concerned that River will be nothing like you? Well, this starting with a deep question. <laughs> um, as a result of the song, no, I mean, not, no. a, not, a, not at all. I, I, I think I love individuality. You know, yeah. I've got, I've got two kids now and they're, they're probably going to be very different to each other. And I love that they will find their own path and I will hopefully just try and guide them to their own potential future, whatever that might be look like. And if that's nothing like me, then that's completely fine. Number two, are you concerned he, he will grow up and insist on a writing share for being a part of the song's creation? Because he's, I mean, he's featured on the song. That's him, right? It's like vocals, JJ, you, and then cries by by River. Is it, do you think he'll he'll insist on some cut long term? Oh, I'll tell you right now, he's already got a cut. Hey! So he, uh, it's, I, I, I always thought that. Even same, same as Coda when I'm writing with my other son. If, if he contributes or he puts something in, he'll get a little percentage of that. And if it happens to be a big hit, it might just be his, uh, his university fund or something. Oh, man, how great is that? That's so great. All right, so that's no, you're not concerned because he's right there already on all music. You know, he, he, there he is, River Johnson. Um, are you concerned that uh, your song is going to grow up and, and hate the song? He's going to be like, Dad, why didn't you write me a good song? This is just like, I get it. People love it. I get it. People call you every day to let you know how much they love it. But seriously, it's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> I, that is to be expected. Let's be right. honest. I, okay. I, was, I was once a 16-year-old kid and I've, I have now love country music. As a kid, I loved country music. Yep. At 16, don't want to play country music because guess what my parents loved? They loved country music. So it was a good period of time that I was like, anything they like, I don't want to, I want to, I want to be the opposite, you know? So, uh, no, it's to be expected really. Okay, great. Good. That's a, that's a good answer. Cause it is, isn't it? Every child kind of eclipses their parent in taste in their mind. It's like, exactly. you like Cardi B? Oh my God. <laughs> she is so yesterday. Uh, and I'm showing my age by saying yesterday. I don't think anyone says that. Anyway, number four, are you concerned, James Johnston, that every time you want to write a new hit song, you're going to need to have a child, a new child, just to release <laughs> that song. And then it also puts you and your wife on a very strict nine-month release strategy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've said no more. So if that's, if that's, the, if that's the truth, well, I'm, I'm happy with two kids. We've, we've made that public. And uh, no, so I, 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 unfortunately, if that was the case, I might not be uh, releasing many more songs. So. You're not working on another song that's like, will be anything like me again. <laughs> 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 All right, number five. <laughs> Lastly, are you concerned? And uh, and I look, I, I agree with everything you said earlier. I, I love the song and I think it's really beautiful, but this is a real question, okay? Are you concerned that this song just makes you look like a big softy? Like, in your first video, you're standing in front of fire. You're looking pretty tough. If you were in a honky tonk and I was there, I'd be like, do not mess with James Johnson because he walked through fire. He was raised like that. Like this guy can throw down. And now I'll be like, he hasn't slept in six weeks and he's just, he's got such a big heart. Are you, are you concerned you're going to get jumped now after, after shows? Mate, you got to show you got to show different sides of you. There's there's, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, it's 2022. A male can be open and vulnerable. I am very comfortable yes. in that. So uh, no, That's no, awesome. no. I, I'm fine. You can you can be strong and sensitive at the same time. I love that. That's so true. Uh, speaking as someone that also writes musicals as his side job, I am 100% on board with uh, being a big softy. <laughs> All right, let's take another break and let's uh, let's talk about you playing at Tamworth and uh, this. Uh, amazing video that's going around of uh, of you as a as a young boy playing there. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 